All right, welcome back to Hut on Miami 2. You may remember this guy, the, the son's bodyguard. Wow. Quite insulting. I guess that's where you would have found out that the sun is who the sun is a son of, you know? You can still hit his punching bag. Uh, I also kind of glossed over, I just kind of ran right past, but in the first writer's episode when he's in the courthouse, I think the fans are right out front, like, protesting. Holding up signs or something. Maybe they want, uh, they want a jacket freed. Guess whose car I get in now. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, and the choices here, uh, pretty much you understand they are. This is Corey's power, this is Tony's power, or uh, Jake had a power that was exactly like this. And this, uh, I believe you start with a gun. Yeah, it's Mark. Call the boss of the last game also wielded double machine guns at the end. Or oh, didn't seem. Pistol guy. And I missed my shots. Nice. It's tricky to see anything in those nightclub levels. Everybody. Who else is up here? Anyone? Yeah, that's one way to handle it. Uh, five shells, good enough. Oh, missed the gun guy. Get the gun guy, damn it. My tactics of standing in a corner and shooting seem to still work. Is a path weird? Just literally cut a dog in half. Cool. here. Not that way, though. Well, these are like, it's like a strip club, so there's the private dance rooms here, and I can do this. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, and then we go down here. I don't believe both of these were open last time, were they? 
two pathways in. I could have solved that first time through if I wanted to. Not my best run through, but uh, not awful either. It didn't take me forever like the uh, the fans chapter, fans finale. I beat the par score. Yeah, it's gonna be B. All right, I'll take it. Much cocaine's. Well, they they do. This whole organization really loves drugs, obviously. Ah, prophetic. Like... Boss, uh, the son may not be the greatest guy, but uh, he kind of knows his stuff. Back to December 7th. Kings of the Street. Now, what are we doing today? That's a little buggy. I thought they would get in the elevator with you. Blood money. Oh, I do remember this level right now. Okay. So... I have to go to a specific place to start this. It's basically hotline, not hotline, I mean, this is basically payday too. Put your mask on, grab a gun, and I pick a super awesome song as well. Oh, I didn't take a gun. And I have to actually shoot the gun as well. There's going to be a lot of restarts on this one, I can feel it. I get the guy coming around. Revolver is unironically a great weapon. One guy. Well, the teller got killed already. Yeah, I take a revolver forward. Oof, actually, I didn't do as bad as I thought because this level took me forever my first time through. Oh, hold on. Oh, there, guys in cover. Good. They were doing a getaway. The Colombians were trying to escape, maybe. Mm. 
Nah, hold on. Nah. Oh, I actually got two at that one shot. What happened to the music? It's actually getting quieter. the loop. Should stand back up. All this is taken care of. That was just a guy with the billy club. Now let's rob everything. Or maybe we'll see something we weren't expecting. So, every other character has seen Richard only in dreams, but the son sees Richard while he's awake, while he's doing stuff. Now, we know things are always not as they seem with this, because the entire, well, the majority of the first game was just like a coma nightmare, like a hallucination brought on by trauma so a serial killer showcasing hmm And this one's even more mutilated than the last. Yeah. We've also never seen uh, Manny's apartment. On his talkie segments, he's always going to crime scenes. He started off in like a cafe. So, uh, funny enough, we know the least about him. Here we go, finally his home. He also has a punching bag. Can't find it, what might you be looking for that you're ransacking your whole house for? Also, uh, there was the choice, look at all these packages. Mysterious packages, one that a Halloween mask might come in. Uh, there was a choice when I was playing the writer last time between calling the wife and continuing to write the book, and that changes his ending slightly, I believe. As well as how many times you've gone psycho. And this is also like a mirror of when Jacket comes home after his injury. blood. You created me. So, was Pardo looking for his gun? We're doing even more messing with reality. This is another movie set. This was the witness in the courtroom scene.
guess what? The serial killer, the Miami mutilator all along, has been Manny Pardo. That's why we knew nothing about him. That's why he always goes back to the crime scene instead of his home. I have to do this, I have to rush it. And of course, this is a recreation of Midnight Animal. Uh, scene where it was the pig butcher reenacting Hotline Miami 1. I think I screwed this up because now that guy's on this path thing forever. Yeah, I think I'm done there. I forgot about Doggo. So, what even is real and what's fiction anymore? I don't know why I rushed that. That. the writer in the interrogation room. We can't go kill him, by the way. It's not possible to get in that room. Any other little secrets? No, nothing else on this. Wait, hold on. Is this floating slightly? No. I thought that little scrap of paper was like an object you could interact with. there, slowly but surely. Finally. I'll take a shotgun up. I think Manny also... Oh, well. And once again, like a reenactment of uh, the uh, Minnet Animal movie. Or was it all a dream? Maybe it was so vivid of a dream because Manny Pardo saw that movie. So this now brings into question how much of any of this has been just part of the movie? How much of this has just been part of a dream? How much of this is things that are really happening? It's all in question now because basically anything can happen at this point. Anything has happened at this point. And here's Manny again. Apparently going to see the boss. Or the, uh, the sun, rather. And he's not hitting a punching bag this time. Now we've swapped to the sun again. Take over. Okay, this time I'm going to take the bodyguard because there's something else the bodyguard does. Bodyguard starts with a katana. I believe you can also katana these big guys. Oh, you can't. That's interesting. There probably should have been firepower for this one then.
all done here. Oh, those guys uh, are the same as the psychos from prison. They uh, they avoid bullets. Get stomped on. More gun. Ugh. Okay, Ninja Man, let's try this again. Any more? There must be, because the level's not over, but, uh... Phew. This level is designed with firepower in mind because that was just impossible. Hold on. That's where I'm supposed to go. Uh, oh, I see. You got the center path. Then would be nice. An hour of that, by the way. That was an hour on this level. We're still not done. Actually. No more guards left. They're all in this door. Well, 
Let's face destiny, shall we? Yep. <sighs> the situation, he's like, you should surrender to me. Your 17 guys should surrender to me. However, I had uh, a bit of backup. Yeah. Oh boy. That level is hard. Let's see how badly I did here. Uh, I've got an hour of footage to cut down. An hour. I can't believe it. Beat the par score anyway. B. Yeah, whatever. I'll take it. Ten bonus of zero because I took forever. Take some unnamed drug. Let's take some more unnamed drug. Third pill of unnamed drug. Fourth. Wonder what the normal dosage is supposed to be. Uh something happened. So instead of the hospital sequence, we have drugged out of your mind sequence. And it's totally impossible to tell if these guys are supposed to be your, your guys, your Russian gangster guys, or if they're enemies. And that's kind of the point, I guess. A literal bear. Need to get to that pipe. Took care of that. Seems like this is a good guy. Oops. <laughs> Let's all drink and then fall over dead. Kill a literal zebra. We've already killed a literal bear. Uh, which way is the way out? This way? Uh, a something. Oh, a Cerberus. The vines are going out of control. I'm in the jungle. Shotgun. On a pile of corpses. Not even sure what that was. I think that was a tiger. So we're noticing a theme and uh, notice recognize this hallway, perhaps. We're actually seeing more or less how the fans died. It was the sun that killed them. And that was the roof with swans, two headed swan. Then I ascend to Valhalla on the rainbow. Or 
fall to my death as we saw there was a weird uh a, a corpse of someone who had jumped off the roof at the end of that fans level but there is a prologue that we'll have to watch after this so the first game a lot of it was in jacket's head but he did actually kill people and he was PTSD'd all to fuck. Like, he had trauma from that, uh, from the war. All he could see was beard everywhere. It's on the house, buddy. He, he was guilty. He felt guilty about it. And his guilt is like, it makes him see beard everywhere. Plus his, of course, PTSD. And then this game, a lot of it is, is it part of the movie, the Midnight Animal movie? Is it a drug trip? Is it, you know, the psychotic imaginings of a, a, a murderous cop? Or, actually, uh, here's the prologue. Oh, uh, Evan. That was the writer's name. So, here we go. From corruption inside the Miami Police Department in the form of Manny Pardo and other people. Uh, since I decided to finish the book instead of reunite with my family, uh, the book comes out really good, and uh, Evan sort of not like he didn't quite get to the bottom of it, but he opened up the possibility of more investigation from other people, and of course, is this a dream too? The President of the United States has been assassinated. Russian, pre Russian president was also shot in the chaos. U.S. Army General. We know, we know someone who ascended to the rank of Lieutenant General in 1985, don't we? We've seen as an act of war against Russia. Still fighting. People still fighting that war that ended five years ago. People like the 50 Blessings. Soon this will all be over, just like the game. It's about to be over. And if you remember the order in which characters died in the prologue that was shown to us. We need to fight it. Leading this world is not as scary as it sounds. We also saw another sequence similar to this uh, in California when Beard was opening his shop. Some of the people in the prologue turned into skeletons instead of like being bloodily shot. Oh, here's Evan. I think the scene would be him with his family. If I had... Oh, here's the first song with lyrics. I think that would have been uh, him with his family if I had chosen the family route. Manny Pardo laughing with his gun because he's a psycho, psycho and all blown away, all evaporated, turned to dust because Russia nuked everything. That's what those explosions are. That's what that everything just vanishing in a flash of light is. 
because of the 50 Blessings action actions. United States gets nuked. Here's the last killer. Although, I don't think she did it on purpose. Maybe that gun was loaded with real bullets by accident. Let me actually look at here. Carpenter Brute. I'm the kid, you know what I mean. Scattle. Magic Sword. A Mitch Murder was on the soundtrack, I kind of forgot. There's Jacket in his jail cell. Looks like he might be lighting up a cigarette or looking at the photo. He too, blown away in a second. I didn't use this font, Shogun's Clan. I used uh, I used a different one to get the uh, thumbnail. Uh, I should probably talk more about the plot. Uh, Jacket sees Beard everywhere because he is guilty. He has PTSD. Uh, I believe probably Jacket doesn't speak because he can't. He was wounded at the end. I believe he's now mute and can't talk at all. Uh, I believe Jake, the reason he doesn't use his left hand ever is because he got wounded and he can't use his left hand very well. And, uh, yeah. I get a little after credit stinger. There's one more thing. Uh, I was talking about the titles of songs. Um, the main menu music, you haven't heard it much, but every time I've booted up the game, I've heard it. It's called Untitled. And there we go. Here we go. And as you can see what's happening in the background there, those trees blowing. It looks like it's, there might be like a hurricane or tropical storm. Nope, those are blowing because they're being blasted that way from a nuclear explosion. And this track, Untitled, is playing in the background. Everything got blown away. Even the title of the song is no more. So, <laughs> I think the message here in this game is... Uh, we, we play with death. We play with games involving... Okay, I'm just putting this on to have something to look at. Uh, I, we play games with death. We play fiction that involves killing and murder. Oh, is this, uh, this is the last part I just played? To sort of come to terms with our own mortality, to be okay with it, to be understand what death is. You know what I mean? So let me cut out of this. There's a, another one at the very end. So even though this game is super, super violent, and it's all about killing other people, and, you know, perhaps do you enjoy it? <laughs> it's sort of anti-violence in a way. Oh, this is the bonus you get if you uh, pick up the item as Jake. Cool. So here's the little extra that Evan is going to do. I don't know if I'll play all this. Maybe I'll play this as an extra episode or something. Uh, also, Evan is the only one that hasn't seen the Richard Mask, I should point out. Everyone saw the Richard Mask. It was usually in a dream before they died. Uh, some of them saw Richard in real life. Or, like, imagine him to be in real life. I, I don't actually know if there's supposed to be some kind of supernatural implication with Richard. Because 
everyone dreams about him before they, they die, and it's even people that don't necessarily know about uh, Jacket and the Fifty Blessings or anything like that. Oh, this is a actual level, isn't it? Okay, I guess we will leave. Yeah, this is an actual level. Alright, so more talk next time as I play through this level. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.